I have the uh, run cam recording and I have the camera on the top of my hat recording. We're going to go for a four minute flight and then bring it in close for the final portion of the flight. So starting the timer, timer is started, unlocking the blades. And I'll switch it. Oh, this throttle position has to be in center of the arm. <laughs> That's right. Okay, we're good to go. Up we go. Oh, God, this is a fast airplane, fast quadcopter. Coming by. And it turns on a dime, too. <laughs> Apply a little more bank in these turns here. And come a little lower, too. <laughs> okay, bring it down a little lower. Let's see it a little bit lower here. Such a neat quadcopter, huh? This is this thing, its ability to go for it, back, for it, fly backwards, <laughs> and off we go again. Let's come a little lower. That thing scream across the desert. Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> Others are having problems with it. I'm not sure why. I am enjoying the heck out of this thing. It is fast. Ooh, it turns on a dime. <laughs> if, you, if you flip it a little too fast, it will turn. I hope my camera's staying on there because that's some extreme G's. Wow, such a neat, neat racer. You guys are going to want one. <laughs> I'm enjoying the heck out of it. Okay, let's bring it down now. Simmer down now for the last push of the flight. Okay, one thing I want to try. This might end up a disaster, I hope not. Is this switch C? Let's try it. Okay. That gives it forward pitch. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to use it. But that pitches its nose up forward and back. Let's try to show you that. Once you get in the air, switch C. See that? Go back to center position. You are probably going to crash if you go into this switch C and hold it there. But okay, so that was some high-speed flying. How's my battery hanging out? Let's hear if we can hear the beep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. For it. Flies backward as well as it flies forward. <laughs> oh, it's such a neat. Okay, there's my four minutes. I'm gonna bring it in. Oh, well, I guess that's its battery. I didn't hear its beeper go off. But let's see if it withstands a crash. I should have brought it in a little sooner because I was doing some uh, extreme speed. So that did suck the battery. So you, when you fly very fast like that, you only get about four minutes flight time and then it will settle down and land itself. Hopefully it didn't break. We'll see how tough it is. I also got to find my, probably got to find my run cam. Hopefully it's here. I hear the beeper, let you know where it's at.
And thank goodness my run cam's still attached. So I don't have to go searching for that. That was a neat flight, folks. That was a really neat flight. Um, hopefully, my goggles got all that video. <laughs> and let's take a look here. Anything break? I don't see anything broken. Looking on the ground. Looking for any unusual parts laying on the ground. Don't see anything unusual laying on the ground. So, and all my props look good. Don't see any cracks. I think we're still in good shape here, folks. A little scratch right there, but that's about it on that particular bar there. Scraped some of the paint off, but it's held in one piece from that drop. So that tells us it's a little bit durable, somewhat durable. So I hope you enjoyed this flight of the Yushin 180, and I hope you enjoyed the goggles. I hope the goggle video came out well. So this is Quadcopter 101, signing out.